Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be talking all about drugstore makeup that feels luxe. I would say I'm usually someone who prefers a higher end makeup product, whether that's something you can buy usually at Sephora. I've even been dabbling into some luxury makeup lately, but I wanted to get back to some drugstore roots. I wanted to try and find some really great gems in the drugstore this year. So that was kind of one of my missions. And trust me, I have found some freaking duds. There's a lot out there, but I have also found some really amazing products as well and I want to share those with you. I do have a pretty high standard. I want drugstore that's really competing with some of the higher end makeup products in my collection in terms of formula and texture and colors and just whatever I'm looking for. I want it to really compete on the same level. I don't want it just to be good for the price. I want it to be just good and then it happens to be an amazing deal. Like that's just a bonus. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. I know that might be a little unfair, honestly, for some, <laughs> you know, for some of these cheaper products, but that's what I want. <laughs> what I want out of my drugstore makeup. I want it to be performing at a high level. So that's what I'm bringing to you today. I hope you guys will enjoy. Starting off, I only have one complexion product to talk about and that is the Viral. Viral Sensation. A lot of people know about this, but I am just confirming it is amazing. And this is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I specifically use the shade Light and I really like it. It has a nice neutral undertone. It doesn't go too warm or too orangey. So color is great. I like the packaging as well. This reminds me of like like the MAC one that came out a long time ago. You get just a lot of concealer in here. It's about a third of an ounce, which is great. But really I love this because of the texture. I prefer using it with a sponge just because I feel like I get a nice even coverage as well as something slightly more dewy. I find when I use this with a brush, I get like almost a demi matte finish on my skin anyway. But with the sponge, I get more of like this in between where it's a little bit glowy, but not like oily by any means, not so glowy that it's like really emollient or I feel like going to crease a lot or kind of just be too much because I do have oily skin. It has medium coverage, so I feel like I can cover my under eyes, but it's not too much. It doesn't get thick and cakey in my under eyes with my little fine lines going on. It's just such a solid concealer. And I feel like if you're looking for just a little bit of coverage, you don't want too much, you don't want too little, like you just needed to do what it needs to do without being thick and heavy and super detectable on your skin. I really think you would enjoy this. You can also use this as a foundation if you just want a little bit more coverage. Again, I would say use a sponge because I just like that finish better, but if you want more coverage and more of a matte finish, a brush definitely gives you that. It's just really, really great. I really love this product and highly recommend it if you're looking for a concealer to try out. Now we're on to other color cosmetics. I have one bronzer to talk about, and this one is a cream bronzer. I really do love the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I have the shade Tan Lines, and this is the basically second lightest shade, the lightest shade in the range is more of a contour. It's like cooler toned. I have that and it's good, but I really like this color and the formula and just everything about it. Like this is really quite a perfect product for me. The formula on this is a cream. I wouldn't actually call it like a putty. It's not like a super shock shadow, like from ColourPop. Those are like a putty formula to me. This is a cream, but it dries to a powder like finish. So it almost has like a dry feel when you start blending it out. I prefer using a brush with this, which I do have to use like a smaller brush to actually fit it in here, but it blends on so nicely. And for me having oily skin, I really like the way that it goes on. It has a little bit of sheerness to it, so you can really build it up how you want to. And I find it to be kind of subtle. It gives me that luxe look where you're just sun-kissed enough, you know, and I love that. It reminds me so much of my absolute favorite NARS bronzer. The Cream Laguna bronzer that came out earlier this year got re-promoted this year. That one is one of my all-time favorites, and this feels like a drugstore version of it. I don't want to sit here and say the formulas are like 100% dupes, but I do find them very similar because that's also a cream that goes on more like a powder as you use it, and it also gives that beautiful, like, subtle bronze look where you just look like, mm, you look healthy, like you got red. Rest, that's what this gives me. I really, really love this and it's a great cream bronzer. Not for the money, just as is. We have quite a few blushes to talk about. So I'm gonna start with a classic, the only powder blush that I have in here and those are the Milani Baked Blushes. I feel like a running theme with a lot of luxury makeup and high-end makeup. That gives you more of that luxe, expensive look. Like all this makeup is gonna make you look like, man, do you wear Charlotte Tilbury? Do you wear, like that's, that's the vibe of all these products to me anyway. And I feel like these baked blushes from Milani are just 
beautiful. They have a great color selection. A lot of them look kind of similar, but there's slight differences. Can we make baked products come back? Seriously, <laughs> like why aren't there more baked products on the market? I feel like just so many baked products look so great on the skin. They look natural, but enhanced, and you can go pretty glam with it if you want. I love all of the shades that I have equally. I have three different colors. This one is Berry Amore. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. A classic is Luminoso. I really love this one too. If you want something peachy, this one's a little bit lighter though. Like it doesn't give me as much of a flush. And then I also have Rose d'Oro, which also goes a little bit warmer, whereas Berry Amore goes a tiny bit cooler and more berry. These just look amazing on the skin. And if a luxury brand or higher end brand came out with these, everyone would be raving about them. Everyone would love them, but you can get them at the drugstore and they just look so luminous on the cheeks without emphasizing too much texture. I love a healthy kind of glow to a blush. I love something that's a little bit more buildable. Like you can get color payoff with these, but you also have some time to build that up. So it's not like daunting or scary when you're putting your blush on in the morning or whenever you're doing your makeup. And they give that nice soft radiance. I feel like Luminoso probably has the most glow out of all of these, but I love that it doesn't look cheap because sometimes, you know, a really glowy blush can really pick up and accentuate a lot of texture and, you know, do what you want. You don't have to not show your texture. It's not something to be ashamed of, but sometimes you just don't want that to be the look, you know? And I love that these give you the glow without necessarily showing all of that. So love, love, love the Milani baked blushes. Now onto some creams though, because I do really love creams and creams are very much the trend right now. I have one from Milani. This one's in Nude Kiss and it's just a beautiful formula. I really love an emollient yet not too glossy cream formula. That's my preferred method. I like something that has some thickness. It definitely has some color that you can blend out and I prefer to use a brush with my cream products in the pan. My favorite brush is this one. This is actually in collaboration with Angie Hot and Flashy but it's from BK Beauty. It is perfect if you're looking for a cream blush brush. This angled one is Mm, divine, <laughs> it looks so good. This has the perfect amount of pigment to like the cream base that's in here. I find it goes on just so easy. It's just a great cream blush. There are four in the line, but this is the only one I have and it's great. So check this one out. If you're looking for, I think essentially a dupe and I know if you've been here, you know. So sorry to have to tell you again, but the Moira cream blushes, the Love Heat cream blushes, I have at this point a collection going in and of themselves. These are amazing and dupes, I feel like for the Tower 20 eight cream blushes. So if you love those, those are $20 a piece and these retail for like $7.50 or $8.50. Not only formula, but packaging, like everything about them just feels so much like the Tower 28. I'm wearing one of these under the Milani blushes today and I'm wearing the shade I Adore You, which is nice and bright. These are a bit of a thicker, a bit glossy formula, but the pigment that goes on and the way that they apply with a brush, I find just has this tiny bit of luminosity from the actual formula, not that they have any shimmer. These are cream formula, so there's no glistening particles, no shimmer particles if you don't want that. There aren't any in the Milani either. These are just cream formulas, not shimmers. Anyway, they have lots of pigment, so I find when I use the brush, I'll tap it in here, and then I'll usually tap off on the back of my hand just to make sure my brush is evenly coated, and they look so good. These add just the right amount of dew. If you have dry skin, I think you'd like them, but even if you have oily skin, I feel like these still go on really nice because they have a little bit of grip, so they can kind of like withstand the wear and actually like stay on your cheeks throughout the day. I love the soft amount of dew that I get from these because it's not too much and just looks healthy. They're absolutely beautiful. Love these cream blushes. Again, very, very, to me, luxe formula. If a higher end brand came out, people would love them. People would love them. I mean, people do love these things. I'm not trying to say no one's talked about them. I'm just trying to reiterate that these are products that really do compete, again, with those higher end products that are out there, those more expensive products that are out there. And I think it's worth noting that I do think that's important because as much as it's nice to get a, a cheap product at the drugstore, prices have gone up. Like a lot of drugstore stuff is not super inexpensive. So you don't want to just find mid or meh products where you're spending like 10, 12, $15. Like it's getting up there in the drugstore, I feel like. And if you get too many of those mid products, like at that point, you probably could have just bought one really good product at Sephora. Like that's how high the prices are going. Last blush I wanna talk about though, this one is from Flower Beauty and this is the Blush Balm. This is more of a liquid blush. So think something like the Glossier paints. I find this to be more dewy though. This has more of a almost serum-like texture, but it doesn't pick up the foundation underneath. Sometimes I find that to be an issue with liquid blushes. This color is absolutely stunning. This is the 
shade Cinnamon. So I love the shade of this, but it has a nice amount of pigment. It's not too sheer, which is something I really like because sometimes those serum-y liquidy blushes, I feel like for how much like wetness, like wet product you're putting on your cheek, you're just not getting enough of the actual color. And so you have to apply more. And so then it's just extra dewy, extra glossy. And I feel like this has, again, that perfect amount of liquid. So it's actually like a liquidy product, but also pigment so that you don't have to apply too much or again, it's not picking up underneath. These are very, very nice products and I really like the colors as well. I hope those are still available. I feel like those have been out a while, but they're really great. Moving on to highlighter. I have a few highlighter picks for powder. I really, really love these Pixi highlighters. These have been around for forever, so you probably know about them, but I really feel like this formula is nice and luxe. These are a little bit more expensive, so <laughs> they're, they're getting up there in price. Pixi can be pricey, but I do love the aesthetic. I do think you're getting like nice packaging. It feels nice. And then the formula is great too. These are high shine. So if you want a more subtle or like powdery highlight, these probably aren't for you. But if you want a nice high shine sheen, these are so stunning. I love them so much. I would say Subtle Sunrise is my favorite, but I do also really like Delicate Dew. If you're looking for something like this one's more cool toned, but this has a nice bronzy tone to it. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I also have it on my inner corner as a highlight. And really I take one of my like wider fan brushes and I'll just kind of put it on both colors and dust this lightly on my cheeks. It looks stunning. This will emphasize a little bit of texture because it is so shiny, so reflective, but it is beautiful. I'm a sucker for a highlight, so I absolutely freaking love these. They stand out in my collection where I have a lot of high-end highlighters. These are still up there. For cream highlighters, I absolutely love the ColourPop Super Shock highlighters. They are so good. You can get a lot of different finishes. These are most of the time also very high shine, sometimes even kind of sparkly, but there are just so many options. So if you're looking for something with a ton of high shine, Fluxitarian is the one for you. This has no sparkle. It should just kind of like this metallic look. It's powerful, okay? It's kind of icy as well, but just so beautiful. And I'll just use my finger and tap it in. And I think it looks so, so good. You can really control the product that way too. So you can add more if you want, add less. Seismic is another great one. If you want something with a little bit more of a sparkle to it, this one I find gives me more of that almost wet shine look, especially like on camera. It'll look super like wet wet, shiny, like what is going on there? And it's usually seismic. I'm gonna bring up and shout out a discontinued one, so I'm sorry this was limited edition, but this one is the Tinkerbell Happy Thoughts. This is like a cream version of the Pat McGrath Holiday highlighters that came out last year slash this year because they're very similar. It's so pretty, it has a slight rosy tint to it. Love that one. And then if you're looking for something with a little bit of just sparkle almost, I really quite like Felicity. This has a bit of a pink going on, something kind of peachy, so it's still neutral but has lots of sparkle just so so stunning love all of these tons of different finishes there's also other colors if you need something deeper than what i'm showing here and i just feel like the super shock formula just works so well for the highlighter and the way you can highlight just using again your finger it looks great <laughs> it looks really good on the skin definitely high impact and i feel like it gives a luxe look to me <laughs> at least with what i like with highlighter because it can really become seamless if you want it to like really blend out nicely or be pretty impactful, but still I think in a luxe and just like beautiful way. All right, I think we are moving on to eye products. So I have a couple different eyeshadows I wanna talk about. First, I wanna talk about eyeshadow sticks, like the cream shadow sticks. I really love the ones from e.l.f. These retail for $5, which is an amazing price point, but I do feel like they're very comparable to things like Laura Mercier and Bobbi Brown. There's more color selection, I would say overall from those brands, um, more neutral selections, but I feel like e.l.f. has continue to put out new ones and the Laura Mercier ones retail for like $32. Like that is a lot of money for a single cream shadow stick. I think they're beautiful. I do really love them. But if you're on a budget, you want something that's gonna give you a very comparable look. These e.l.f. ones are great. I really prefer overall something with a shimmer and I really like almost a satiny shimmer in these ones because I like to use them as bases for eye looks. Today I use Champagne Crystal, which has a nice metallic to it, but it also has some shimmer and I think it works as a nice base just to kind of start off a look. I also really like though Magnetic Pool for something with a little bit more depth. It has like a nice taupe mauve thing going on, but the shimmer on it isn't too much for using it as a base for other shadows. So really love those. Even the gunmetal shade is great to put on the outer corner as I'm building out a look or even on the lower lash line. And like I said, they have some fun colors as well. This one is so unique. This is called Chill Zone and it's a nice like baby blue. They also just came out with like a, a more electric aspect 
Audacity Green. So they are coming out with more colors and I just think these are a great price point, but also really perform and deliver. I've been trying a lot of shadow sticks this year because they're like my obsession. <laughs> and I've been trying to find those more affordable ones. And I feel like these ones really stand out compared to so many I've tried. Like the ones from ColourPop aren't really my favorite. These ones I feel like give me that luxe feel. For some other cream shadows, you guys already know that I love the ColourPop Super Shocks. I've mentioned it here. I just had a video showing my favorite sparkly ones. So I don't want to harp on too long, but I do think these are great. Whether you get the really sparkly ones or you get one of the more metallic ones, these really do remind me of so many of the like higher end single shadow kind of pots that you can buy. I'm just gonna shout out two here in this video, but these are more neutral, very sparkly, a little quirky. Guys, just get it, okay? Like if you're on the Colourpop site and you're making an order, pick up a little quirky if you don't have it. You will love it if you like sparkle. You gotta like sparkle. And then Ritz is also another one that is a little bit lighter, a little quirky to me, kind of shows up as a mid-tone, so it has some nice depth. I really love it as a one and done shade. I get compliments when I wear it. These just are so, so beautiful. If you want kind of that luxe glam look, going out look, like a little quirky on the lid, blend it out with this gunmetal shade. Come on, that's so, so pretty for a date night sexy look. I do have a few powder eyeshadows to talk about though. These little quads from Revlon are absolutely beautiful. I just have two. There are a few other ones. They're a little bit louder, a little bit brighter. Some of these are more matte. Some of these have almost like a, a soft matte finish where they're kind of like, a very, very light satin. And then there are some more shimmery shades in here. Nothing super metallic and nothing overly pigmented, but I find these, if you're really into the luxe quads, I don't even get on really with the Tom Ford eyeshadows that I've tried, but to me, that's what these give. But these are at the drugstore and they're from Revlon. I think these are baked. They seem like a baked formula. I tried looking at the back and I didn't see, but these are so luxe feeling to me. If you're really into tons of pigment and tons of bright color, these are not gonna be for you. I'm gonna say that up front. These are more for subtle washes of color with just a little bit of shimmer, but really you gotta like like a, a one and done shimmer look, something like that. You will probably love these for just subtle, easy days. I'm wearing a mix of these on my eyes today. I start off with this shade, which looks like it's gonna be my skin tone and not really give me any depth, but it actually looks really great in the crease for the tiniest, tiniest touch, like the tiniest amount of definition. If I'm on like a very chill, don't really wanna wear makeup, but just wanna little bit of something in my crease. This looks so beautiful that way. Then I went in with this shade here on the lid and just use my finger. I also like these with a the brush. I feel like that's a really nice look too. If you want more pigment from these, using a tackier base or primer is gonna help with that. I love the way that these are sheared on. If I had to pick a favorite, I guess I would say this one. I just love it. There's also like a, a slight duochrome in here, which I also find beautiful. And I love this deep teal. I just think it's interesting. And again, like this would be a beautiful quad from Tom forward the color selection. I guess I'll give you a name on it. This one's called Slight Flex. And then the other one here is more neutral, but it has like a plummy tone as well. I'm using this shade on my lower lash line on top of a liner. This is called That's a Dub. And again, just beautiful textures in here. It's giving a luxe quad vibe. And I also quite like the packaging. I mean, it still feels relatively drugstore, but there's something about it that feels elevated with the embossing and the way the shadows just look in the pans too. So these are really, really great if you've been eyeing them. Like I was for a long time, they're great. And then I feel like everyone knows this one, but I'll, I'll give it a shout out in here. This one is from Flower Beauty and this is the Jungle Lights palette. There's also one called the Desert Lights, maybe? Desert Oasis? <laughs> it's more like those peachy warm tones. But these shadows are so, so pretty from Flower Beauty. This is gonna give you that more full on pigment. They're a little bit thicker, more of that full metallic foiled kind of look. The pans are freaking huge. You get a lot of shadow in here. I actually would prefer if they made these tinier, if I'm being honest but really great quality shadows from the drugstore if you're looking like bam, bam, and it's all shimmer, which I do love. So just wanted to shout that one out. I almost forgot these, you guys, but I do have another eyeshadow to talk about. These are from Moira, and I picked these up more recently, but these are the Star Shadow Shadow Pots. Okay, yeah, that's the name. I have quite a few of these. I think I picked up like nine of them, but if you're looking for that really luxe, again, like single shadow pot where it's a semi-pressed pigment, it's not quite a cream, not quite a powder, like more creamy than a powder, these are what you're looking for. They have some really pretty duochrome shadows. They have lots of beautiful dazzling neutrals. And I just feel like if Charlotte Tilbury came out with these, everyone would just be going gaga over them. But these are $8. <laughs> these are $8 on the Moira 
parasite if you want some more close-up swatches of these definitely check out my moira haul video i'll leave that link down below i also show the blushes like fully swatched there as well i would say though some of my favorite shades if you're looking for like a cool toned kind of taupey shade i love eureka absolutely stunning and beautiful today on my lids i just tapped a little bit of showtime which is a really beautiful like rose gold kind of color just in the center it adds just a nice amount of shine and if you want really full opacity you can put these over a glitter glue and they're really going to show up even more if you want kind of that blue brown pigment just right is so beautiful it has that kind of like red warm base with that teal kind of blue purple thing going on just absolutely stunning again like high-end feel and they look luxe they look so expensive even though they are more affordable definitely check these out these are a newer release they have tons of colors if you want more bright colors they also have those as well last for eyes i want to mention my favorite eyeliners from the drugstore these are from pixie and these are very comparable to like the urban decay glide on 24 7 eyeliners so these glide on really easily they're blendable but after they set they really set down so they stay in place but they're not too grip of a formula they're not too thick of a formula I love the amount of time I get to actually work with them but I also love that they have that longevity they have tons of different colors lots of really pretty jewel tones and colorful shades that still lean neutral jades and plums and golds coppers all those types of colors my absolute favorite one and you can tell because it's a nub it's so tiny this I need to repurchase it's so good it's called rose glow and it's this perfect rose gold color that leans more cool toned actually so i love this it gives me the perfect amount of definition on my lower lash line especially for every day where black and brown full-on pigment colors can look a little harsh on my eyes especially if i don't blend them out and again if i'm doing a more smoky look or a more dramatic look i like that but for every day this is just so easy and i love that it's shimmery i love the shimmer formula of these eyeliners i've said it before i'll say it again i think a lower lash line that has some shimmer on it is just sexy man it looks so good a little messy a little undone but these actually like staying in place like you just blend them out to be a little messy i'm wearing this on my lower lash line today also tight line a little bit with it kind of rub a little on my top lash line as well it's just the perfect amount of definition it makes it so easy i know i'm not going to overdo it with the liner it's not going to get too dark i really don't love doing something too dark on my lower lash line too much because i feel like it can bring my eye down and kind of make my eye look a little bit smaller and this is just perfect so i I love this formula but specifically this color is like such a win so amazing we're getting to the end here i have a few lip products not too many but i do have some lip liners i really really love i've been trying so many lip liners this year i've been trying some uh inexpensive ones from the drugstore but the milani ones just are amazing i love the makeup forever artist pencil you guys know i love wherever walnut <laughs> so much i love that color but i also just love the formula of that pencil and i feel like these remind me of it where it's nice and soft like you can make a nice lip line it's not tugging on your lip it's not really hard and you know i've had lip pencils that literally like stabbed me they're so hard i'm like what the fuck is going on these have a nice creaminess to them but they're not one of those creamy lip liners that kind of acts like as an eyeliner like some of those lip liners out here i'm like they just don't work for me. I just really don't like them. This has a nice powdery quality to it still where you can draw it on. It doesn't lock down and cause a harsh, sharp line on your lip line. You can create a nice, soft, natural fullness with these. I also just feel like they nail the neutral colors for me. Um, so many brands out there, I feel like just have too much pink. Like they go a little too pink for me, a little too red. And these have just a nice amount of brown in them. So I just love all of these. They just perform to me like high end lip liners. And and they are just good by themselves. So definitely try the Milani lip liners if you're getting into lip liner, but don't want to spend a ton of money because I didn't like lip liner for the longest time. And I couldn't imagine spending like 20, $25 on a lip pencil. Like I was like, what? Uh, but now I like lip liner, I'm telling you changes everything. <laughs> changes everything. But if you're trying to get into it, try these out. They're really, really good formulas. And last, a classic drugstore product. These are the Butter Glosses from NYX. I know they're oldies, but they are goodies. And I just feel like this is the lip product that I really want every brand to have. At least one of 
these in their line, geez. These glosses are semi-opaque, so they have definitely some color to them, but the way that they go on just looks really nice and natural. Just add some color without looking too thick or heavy on my lips, at least. I don't feel like any of the color kind of separates or gets into the lines and kind of cracks and crevices of your lips. They just look really nice, plump. They're moisturizing and kind of stick around a little bit. They're not too slick. They're not too thick and sticky either, though. They're just kind of that perfect, nice, plush feeling. They're $5 a piece, so they're a great price. They have lots and lots of different colors on these. I don't really love the intense ones as much. I just like the regular formula, and I personally love the smell on these. These have like a cupcake batter, kind of like frosting smell. Mm, it's so good, but they don't taste sweet, so I love that. I just want the smell. I don't want to like, every time I lick my lips on accident, like get a, <laughs> a hit of sugar, you know? These set a great standard. Like so many lip products, they need to be at least this good. Like this is just what we want. And I feel like these are also timeless. It's been forever since these came out and I feel like no matter what the trend is, these still like work, you know what I mean? So I absolutely love the butter glosses. Those are my picks of what I've been trying basically this whole last year. From the drugstore, these are the things that really I feel like compete with the higher end makeup that I love just as much. I like put them next to each other in my drawer and I think of them both fondly and the same and you know, it's just nice to be able to get a deal because as much as I do like my luxury makeup, the packaging, the feel, the textures, everything, I also love a deal. <laughs> I also love a deal and I feel like that's what you're getting with these. Oh my gosh, I just missed out. I totally missed these. So actually I'll cut these into the video earlier. <laughs> Man, almost missed out. Jeez, glad I took a second look around. But anyway, I really feel like these are some special products in the drugstore that I feel like are worth the money. And I would love to know what your picks are. What should I try down below? I always love your guys' recommendations. It's so nice for me to just have a more targeted way to try stuff. So if you have some favorites that are different, let us know. If you like some of these products, let us know your reviews down below. But thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having an amazing day. And other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.